You have just won the lottery, and you are about to spend it on buying all the luxuries you ever wanted. Alas, suddenly, you become aware that it's not happening and only a dream. But instead of leaving your dream, you choose to stay or dwell in it, and better yet, control and manipulate it according to your heart's desire. This phenomenon is known as lucid dreaming. Seems far-fetched? Surprisingly, a large proportion of adults, 55% to be exact, have experienced at least one lucid dream in their lifetime. Doesn't seem so far-fetched, now does it? A normal sleep cycle consists of four stages. The first three stages consist of non-REM sleep, while the fourth stage consists of rapid eye movement or REM sleep. Lucid dreaming typically happens during REM sleep and believed to be originated from non-lucid dreams. So, what is the difference between normal dreaming and lucid dreaming? The first and most important difference between the two types of dreaming is that the dreamer is conscious or aware that he is dreaming during lucid dreaming, while the dreamer is not conscious or aware that he is dreaming during normal dreaming. The second difference between the two is that during lucid dreaming, increased activity in the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex, the bilateral frontopolar prefrontal cortex, the precuneus, the inferior parietal lobules, and the supramarginal gyrus of the brain, similar to that of the levels observed while awake, can be seen. All these areas of the brain are related to higher cognitive functions, including working memory, planning, and self-consciousness when awake. Therefore, lucid dreaming is sometimes referred to as hybrid sleep-wake cycle. Thirdly, research has demonstrated that during a lucid dream, levels of self-determination were similar to those that people experienced during states of wakefulness. How are lucid dreams initiated? There are two means of initiating a lucid dream. Dream-induced lucid dream or DILD. This is when something within the dream triggers the dreamer to understand that they are dreaming. Wake-induced lucid dream. This is where the dreamer moves from states of wakefulness to dreaming with no loss of awareness. How to induce lucid dreams? Perform reality testing. Number one, check mirrors and see if the reflection is normal. Number two, look at your own hands, see if they appear normal. Number three, pinch your nose and try to breathe. If you can, then you are in a lucid dream. Number four, look at the clock, look away, and then look back. In a dream, the time changes constantly. Do these exercises a few times during the day so the brain will learn to do reality checks during dreams. Wake back to bed. Set an alarm to wake up after five hours of sleep. Stay up for 30 minutes. Go back to sleep. This method allows you to directly go into REM sleep while you are still in alertness. Mnemonic Induction of Lucid Dreams When you wake from a dream, think of an abnormal or irregular event like flying, falling, or being chased. These irregular events are called dream signs. Now, re-script your dream from this dream sign as if you are in a lucid dream. Before you go to bed, tell yourself, The next time I see a dream sign, I will become lucid. Recite this phrase multiple times as you go to sleep. Maintain a sleep diary. Since the hippocampus is partially inactivated during sleep, you tend to forget what you dream. Just after waking up, record what you saw in a diary. This will help your brain to register your dreams in long-term memory. An important point to note is that lucid dreamers can only control limited aspects of their dream at once. Lucid dreaming has shown to help reduce anxiety, improving motor skills, improve problem-solving ability, and increase creativity. At the same time, lucid dreaming has shown to reduce the quality of sleep, have negative impacts on mental health, as well as make it difficult for some to distinguish between lucid dreaming and real life. For this reason, most researchers are in two minds about whether lucid dreaming is beneficial or harmful to one's health. Therefore, lucid dreaming should be approached with caution.